Итак, я представляю вам участников первого поединка «Пирамиды». Красному углу боец, которому 33 года, его рост 175 сантиметров, вес 71 килограмм. На профессиональном ринге провел 27 поединков, одержал 20 побед, 15 побед одержаны нокаутом, 7 поражений. Introducing the fighter in the red color, 33 years old, 175 centimeters, weight 71 kilograms. His professional record is 27 fights, 20 wins, 15 victories by knockout and 7 losses. The representative of Tuki, ladies and gentlemen, Fikri Arika. All right. Here you have the blue. Его соперник, которому 29 лет, его рост 170 сантиметров, вес 71 килограмм. На профессиональном ринге провел 29 поединков. Одержал 23 победы. 11 побед, одержанные нокаутом. Потерпел 6 поражений. Introducing the fighter in the blue corner. 29 years old, 170 centimeters, weight 71 kilograms. His professional record is 29 fights, 23 wins, 11 victories by knockout, and 6 losses. Ladies and gentlemen, the representative of Russia, Kukini! Pyramid fight number one, and round number one. Here we go. Alrighty, guys, there we have it. Good defense. Very defense. Defensively, they're very strong. Nice, nice round heel kick. Wait. You don't see a lot of backing up from either of these guys. It's a nice a good, yeah, right. Oh, right, blocked though. Sounded good, but it was nicely blocked. Just a check, just a check. Good movement. These guys have really good movement. Oh, Ross has got him in the ropes in the corner. More of a shove than anything else. We thought we had something there, a little excitement to start the night off. Mind you, I mean, you, you see a lot of these these, these uh, punches and kicks being thrown, and they are blocked. They're obviously not scored as points. Uh, and right now, not much is getting through either fighter. Nice uh, little leg kick to the leg and under the ribs. Blood. Somebody's opened up. I don't know yet, but let's find out. Ooh, good left right combo to the leg kick to the uh, ribs of Karovskoy. Uh, this is opened up. It's opened up on uh, um, Spikri's head, on the right side of his head. Let's see if that's going to actually cause some damage as that blood goes into his eye. A nice uppercut nice by Evgeny right there. Yeah. A good flying knee kick Stop. right into the stomach. Hey. These guys like using their legs, that's yeah. for sure. But you know, the last, last time, so like last, uh, 
uh, the last bouts were all were a lot more a lot more stand up, a lot more boxing, not much kicking. Yes. Uh, we're already seeing uh, conversely a whole different style. Here but if you look, these guys are both keeping their arms up. We had a couple fighters that had their arms down in the last tournament. These guys are keeping their arms up. They're they're allowing the kicks to the inside of the leg. They're allowing them to the side. What they don't want to do is get hit in the head. Oh, All right, first round. Well, you know, I saw blood. And since I've seen blood, I'm going to have to give that round to Jeff King. That was a little slower of a, of a start than, uh, than Evgeny likes to uh, normally come out with. But uh, I think he did get that round. I'm gonna, not much actually got through. These guys did a really good job of blocking a lot of the, the kicks, a lot of the punches. They allowed the inside leg kicks. They, they didn't really uh, stop. There weren't really hard kicks, so they didn't really do much damage. Again, it will wear, it will wear you down over uh, three rounds. They're just killing each other out. Kind of getting, Let's hopefully we'll pick work, it up. What's not gonna work? Yeah, yeah. Let's pick it up in the second round. I would even give that one a tie if I if I were to be okay, fair. Let's not go wishy-washy. I'm not gonna go wishy-washy. I'm only gonna give. I said I'm only gonna give you Gainey because I saw blood. And anytime you see blood, you know, it's gotta create a little excitement in, in the judges' eyes as well as it does in the commentators. That's the thing. It, it does sway the judges. Fighters, please. And because it's right over his right eye, the ring, the forehead, if that opens up again. See, it can easily get into his eye and cause problems for him. That's the that's the biggest concern, you know, that, that that thing doesn't. Второй раунд, the second and, uh, round. Now let's see if Yevgeny goes after it. Got it uh, pretty well sealed. Nice left to the face, left jab right to the face of, uh, from Yevgeny, and it stunned him. Game with a right hook too. Fikri's actually stunned a little bit right now. He's trying to counter, but you know, he just countered with a combo, but it was a very, very weak combo. Evgeny, I think, right now has the momentum well, he's, he's very quickly in this round. Uh, you know, really trying to back him up, and Evgeny's not going anywhere. <laughs> the and the blood has opened up again. A nice right to the leg from Evgeny. Nice little counter there. Evgeny's here again, he's got him in the corner. Yeah, it's good movement. Good movement. These guys are very good. Oh, good. That, that cut has really opened up. It's a lot of blood in that right eye. Ooh, a nice combo. He can get a jab. A jab snuck through the gloves. And a good combo right there. A jab followed by a hook from Fikri. The blood is definitely not slowing him down. No. I, I think, you know, he's doing a good job of trying to keep his distance, but Yevgeny's not going to be pushed away. He's trying to get inside on him. He's always aggressive. Oh my god, he just, Yevgeny just missed the knockout kick with that one. Fikri's gloves were down, he swung that right leg around, and I'll tell you, if he would have connected, that would have been lights out. And the blood is really important. Another one. Nice right kick to the ribs from Fikri. And we're going to do a timeout. They're checking that head. That blood is just nasty. I mean, it is just pouring now. Guard is still fighting a really strong fight, so I yes. hope that this, uh... Good, good. Left hook followed by a right hook from Yevgeny. A couple jabs. Everything's getting through right now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the blood becomes a psychological factor as well. Well, I'm sure if we're getting excited about seeing a little bunch of the fighters are getting excited too, so. Oh, I'll give Fikri credit, man. He, he's dancing around well, and he's making Evgeny miss with those leg kicks. He's holding his ground. Evgeny sort of telegraphs those, some of those kicks. He's got some time. Erika's had some time to, to uh, defend pretty easily, but um, he's come close to lights out a couple of times already. But this is important because obviously when you throw your when you throw your knockout punch, it requires a lot of energy, and that also can you know be a, a, a good wear down factor. And that may play well in the third round. But you're right. Right now, this is clearly Evgeny's fight to lose. That was Evgeny for sure. Yeah. Nice strong fight. He's uh, really, he's a really pure, pure puncher. I like the way he just stands and fires, and a lot of the, a lot of his, a lot of those power shots got in, was getting through uh, Ericon in that round. That was definitely Evgeny's round.
Looks okay. Sparks me. All right, Jim. So uh, we're ready for the, th the third and final round. Third and final round. Here we go. Having a little technical issues here. We're trying to work out with our team. Sure. Right. Okay. Is that so, Jim? You ready? I think we're good. Everything. Yeah. Good? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Right, guys, thanks. A little technical. Right. Third and final round here coming up. Ooh, if he, if he comes out, comes out charges, with that knee. nice knee. Straight away. He's definitely going after. He, he, well, he's know, really got nothing to lose. He's yes. got to. He's got to do something nice, this fight. Nice roundhouse. He missed. He didn't. He missed with the roundhouse kick. Right roundhouse. He got him with the left hook. He's done. Three, three. He's just. Right he just got him in there. It's just a flurry of punches right now. Fikri was on the ropes. He had nothing to do. His hands were down, and almost everything was connecting. And surprisingly enough, he threw a nice right hook and connected the game to stop. That was a great follow-up to that kick to that that roundhouse. Good straight leg kick to the chest from Fikri. Another left in the guinea that actually connected. That jab just snuck right through the gloves, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I, you know, I think energy-wise, Fikri's a little bit down. And <laughs> Yevgeny here now has all the energy and the momentum. They're both working hard, but yeah, so he, you, can, you can see it on his face. He's, he's, he's a little bit frustrated, and uh, he's definitely he's definitely feeling the uh, being on the wrong end of those uh, of, of Jenny's. His glove was up, and that jab still snuck through. And that's an important thing when you're looking and watching fighters. If, the, if those types of punches, when your when your defense is up, are sneaking through, then, then yeah, it's gonna it's, it's gonna definitely wear you down quicker. That's a nice little right-left combination there. Another right kick from Fikri to the ribs of Yevgeny. Yevgeny is just going for that leg to the head. A oh, nice geez. flying knee into the, into the rib cage, followed up by a nice left to the head. He really follows up those uh, yeah. those kicks well. With a, he's got a nice combination after adding a little slip. A backhand punch. But at this stage, I mean, none of the much speed he's throwing is even having because he's facing the game. And Fikri really, really needs a, he needs a knockdown if he has any chance of even going into a This fight right is here. all if Jenny's to lose. 54 seconds left in the third and final round of our first fight in the pyramid. And unless we see a knockdown, I'm assuming you're going to see Yevgeny advance to the next, the, to the, basically the final, <laughs> the final fight in the eighth, the eighth fight tonight. This is the eighth fight, yes. <laughs> Again, a right-left hook combo. That went right really the fence isn't connected. I mean, they're not hard, but they're connected. And, you know, he, he just doesn't have the defense. Anymore. That's it. Ten seconds, guys. Chance for one knockout punch. <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, he's, he, went for, he went with the right kick, but uh, didn't pull it off. All right, that's it. Good first fight. Good first fight. A lot of action. Good way to get things going. The first round was a bit slow, but he picked up in the second. Not necessarily my tie, just no, just Thai boxers. Champion of the Mira W5, Alex Papin, and champion of Mira Tunis Lukashov. System. He also has a wealth of fights. This guy's fought over 100 times. He's got over 30 KOs, and 
it's, uh, he's, gonna, he's got some miles on it, but uh, he seems to be getting stronger with every fight. Yeah, 30 years old, 187 uh, centimeters. For us, yes, a decision. We have a decision. Fighters, so, he's please, he'll be the center of, of the ring. Before we continue, let's listen to the winner. And the winner is Vizel Vetam Pajinke, Jedinaglasnim Rishenim Sudi. By a unanimous decision, Yevgeny Kurovskoy, Russia, Russia. I'm a big fan of Max Kopak. Uh, he's young, he's uh, promising, and this guy fights like his next meal depends on it. He comes out fast and furious, and I, I like that in these three rounders. You really don't want to get behind too early because that's, you, you, know, you don't want to fight from behind in these because if these guys are well conditioned, they can go six, eight, ten rounds if they needed to. So to think that he's going to tire in the third round and you have to come back uh, after after dropping a round or two, uh, it, it's just not a good it's not a good game plan. Yeah, so I really like uh, Max Kopak's style. Again, Konski is one of the top fighters in the field, one of the top five in Europe. So Kopak is being the, the, the young buck, you can have some work cut out for him, but uh, I think he's excited about them. This is actually something that could put him on the map. This is really his first big test. Let's talk his stats. Why don't we? He's 25 years old, he's 173 centimeters, he has five fights only. Professional fights. Let's talk about the stats. He's 173 centimeters, he has five fights only. Professionally. Professionally. Right. That's where the inferior sort of uh, comes in. He has four victories.